Acute myeloid leukemia is an aggressive blood cancer that's often treated with chemotherapy. When that doesn't work, patients and their families are left with very few options. Caroline Van Vlardigan has the story of one young patient who got help thanks to a decision that was made even before he was born. Right foot yellow. Playing Twister with his older brother and sister, Nolan LaBerge can hold his own. But four years ago, when he was just a baby, Nolan was in a very real, precarious position. What was supposed to be a quick visit to the Montreal Children's Hospital for a stuffy nose and rash turned out to be anything but. He had uh, little purple nodules all over his body, and we later found out that those were all of the little tumor cells. Tumor cells being caused by a blood cancer, acute myeloid leukemia. There was no warning, there was no nothing. You go in with a rash and you don't leave for five months. At just nine months of age, Nolan began the first of four rounds of chemotherapy, but he relapsed quickly because the leukemia was literally stuck in his skin and punishing radiation treatments also didn't work. The only option left, a transplant, and perhaps possible because his mother had donated blood from the umbilical cord of Nolan's older brother, Natis, just after Natis was born. To me, it just seemed like the logical thing to do, even if you just kept it in a private bank for yourself um, in case something happened. And this is where those stem cells were being stored, Ema Quebec's public cord blood bank. Quebec's is the first public cord blood bank in Canada, and there are about 10,000 units stored in these tanks. But that still doesn't mean that finding a match is easy. About 90% of our patients within the province of Quebec are transplanted uh, using products that are given worldwide. But in Nolan's case, they were doubly lucky. Not only was Natissa's blood cord a perfect match, but also still here. For sure, it is a rare thing where a pub, a cord blood that was donated for a public bank is then used for, um, for the family. So uh, it, is, it is quite rare. So we're pretty happy and fortunate enough that the unit was still available. To find out that they still had it was great. In May of 2012, Nolan received his brother's stem cells and his new life began. The blood coordination is what saved Nolan's life. The radiations damaged Nolan's thyroid, eyes and skin and he's small for his age. However, he's running around, he's a beautiful boy, we play soccer, he's great. Great and learning to play a mean ukulele. All music to the ears of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society of Canada, which supports families like Nolan's and helps fund research into life-saving treatments. He's what we do every day. We want more cases like him. This year, their biggest event, the Light the Night Walk, will be on October 17th, and Nolan and his family will be there at Parc Jean Drapeau, showing how even the toughest challenges can be overcome with the right chords and a little luck. Caroline Van Vlardigan, CTV News.